How do you choose the correct power wattage for an amplifier? This question comes from Olivier in Downey, California. And we answered a very similar one some days ago, I think. But again, this is a constant question that comes up. And I think it needs to be addressed more, more than just once or twice or 10 times till, till we make some kind of dent in, 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 in the universe of understanding. Uh, Olivier writes, most speakers are not rated to handle the power many monoblocks put out. How does one choose the correct combination and not blow out their speakers? I currently own a set of Mirage OMD28LR, left, right, and the OMD-C2 for the center. Oh yeah, left and right and center. The amp I'm looking at is an Emotiva XPA DR1. I'm on a budget and Emotiva is at a price point I'm looking at and you always have nice things to say about them. Yes, indeed, Emotiva makes great products. That's my buddy, Dan Lothman. And uh, boy, you know, great products, good, good stuff. So whether you're looking at Emotiva or, or like we make a great affordable, I think $1,500 a piece, uh, monoblock amplifiers that are 700 watts each. I don't know of many speakers that can handle 700 watts. So why do we make it so big? Well, <clears throat> as, as we have talked about many times before, the wattage of the amplifier is only bad if it's too little. Too little can cause clipping. We can damage components. You can't have an amplifier with too much wattage. I think one of the problems that people labor under is this notion that, um, or the idea that amps push power. Maybe that's, maybe that's a good way to, to think about that. Amps don't push power any more than wall sockets push electricity. So let me give you an example of, of what I'm trying to talk about. You know, at home, you have a wall socket, you know, the, the, the plugs over here, right? And you might have a 15 amp circuit, kind of common in, in homes in the United States. And if you draw too much current on that 15 amp circuit, what happens? Circuit breaker blows, right? Boom, trips it off, damn it. You know, the hair dryer, whatever happened. <clears throat> now you have to go reset that. Now, if that same plug had a 50 amp or a 100 amp circuit breaker connected to it, big fat wire, and 100 amps relative to 15 amps, and you plugged your hair dryer or your whatever into it, would that present any more power to the product that you plug it into? Nope. Wouldn't matter an iota. Because things that consume power take what they need as opposed to what is available. Now, I realize that's not exactly the same thing because in a loudspeaker, you could pump more into it. Uh, and where in a, in a wall socket, you know, it's the product itself is only going to take what it can take. And it doesn't matter how big it's hooked up to unless you have a problem, which is why we have circuit breakers to keep us safe. So an amplifier that can put out, like our stellar uh, monoblocks, they put out 700 watts into a speaker. That's only if you tell the amplifier to do that. So let's think about this in a realistic sense. The volume control on a preamp is going to control what level comes out of the preamp and into the power amp. And if you turn the volume up to a certain level, let's say you're going to put out one volt, which maybe is meaningless to people. Let, let's just let's, let's use the volume control. Let's just say that you're going to turn your preamp volume control up to 12 noon, okay? Turn it up to 12 noon. Now, if I have an amplifier of 700 watts connected to my speaker, 
When I turn that preamplifier up to 12 o'clock, it's going to put out X amount of loudness, right? Hold that thought for a second. Now let's say I take another amplifier that only puts out 100 watts, okay? And if it has the same gain, which I'll tell you about in a second, as my first amplifier, when I connect that to my preamplifier and I turn the volume control up to 12 noon, the speaker connected to it will play at exactly the same volume level that the 700 amp, the 700 watt amplifier did. There will be no difference, just like in our plug example. So for a given amount of input, the output of our amplifier, if it's around the same gain, will be identical. The difference is on the 100 watt amp, if I keep turning the volume up, at some point the amplifier is going to clip. It's going to run out of gas. And that's when our trouble begins. On my 700 watt amp, as I turn it up, I'll never run out of gas. It's going to keep pumping out power. And at some point, your speaker is going to be too loud. or Your ears are going to bleed. Whatever. So a little common sense, don't do that and you'll be okay. So for a given gain, and most amplifiers are between 27 dB and 31 dB. They're kind of all in that same range. You don't see any difference in the amount of output that the power amp places to the speaker as long as the source remains the same. And as long as you, you know, so wherever you're turning on the knob, if they're the same gain, a 1,000 watt amplifier or a 20 watt amplifier will output exactly the same amount of power for a given volume setting on your preamplifier. So my advice, go big or go home. Buy big amps because they sound better generally than smaller amps. Thanks. We'll hit this question again and again and I'll try from every angle I can think of to, to Make this concept a little bit more clear. <laughs> Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.